making my mistakes. Mouth does not go faster than my mind. What What are you? Even... That's another. That is another one of my thoughts. I am willing to admit. Sometimes my mouth goes faster than my brain. Well, I, I I bet that's not the only thing that goes faster than your brain. I mean. Well, I mean, are you like some? Uh, are you some? Are you trying to say you're some kind of computer or something? But this is get, you're getting completely off the point. I mean, okay, so tell me why exactly you aren't naive. You know, why why is this crossing the line so much? Because it's insulting my intelligence. I mean, what line and did I, did I cross exactly? That. You made me feel anger. I mean, because you haven't proven your intelligence to me. I mean, you... well, my, well, just like a computer, my brain is random, and it makes and it picks up memories at random. I cannot simply access them sometimes, even though I hope, even though most of the time I can, but sometimes I can't, and they later come back to me at random. <sighs> okay, well, here. Here's how here's how intelligent you really are, and that's because being naive has absolutely nothing to do with intelligence. Look it up in the dictionary. I have looked it up in the dictionary. It has nothing to do with intelligence. What are you talking about? Okay. What dictionary are you looking up? Webster's. Webster's. You know, I'm sure. I'm what? sure. You know, if you think I, you know, naive as I'm sure. I'm sure, you know, you're just saying autism is probably just some sort of blanket term for retarded for you, isn't it? I'll admit I have had some slow-minded moments, but I am certainly not totally retarded. No, I'm looking at, I'm looking at my dictionary, right? You know what it naive means? It means unexperienced, not unintelligent. I shouldn't be calling you naive. I should just be calling you a dumbass. But you are naive as well. I've got a lot more experience than you could imagine. <laughs> I've had 27 years of experience. With what? Eating McDonald's and watching TV. You know, son, Chris, Chris is Wait, younger than you, and he has had far more experiences than you have. And I've had 52 years of experience. Yeah, well, how about being pinned down by three teachers, a guidance counselor, and a elementary school principal and having your screams and cries recorded on audio tape like a torture chamber. What the hell and are you having, talking about? I was pretty much in that situation back during the back in the fourth grade. There what did you do? Have some kind of some kind of, of temper tantrum? Of, no, they were scared of me. They did not understand oh. autism. So what? Cause you, so you just had some kind of retard panic attack, and they didn't know what to do. I it was not a retard. No, it was not. They just hated me because they don't. They did not understand people with autism, and so they tortured me as such. I even ended up with a rash on my neck from that thing, among other things. And we had yeah. to fight the school system. They wanted to put me in a mental institution. But that because was you need help. That's probably where you belong. I mean, I and you not, call the other, and you call Chris mental, crazy. If, this is, if, this is if ridiculous. I had, if, I, if I had gone to a mental institution, I would not graduate high school or get my certificate and degree in computer drafting and design. I moved up from from what you would consider a retarded state of mind. I know retards with college degrees. 
know, they probably felt sorry for you, and they probably just kind of let you through. That's probably what happened. Mm-hmm. You know, schools do that. And, 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 you know, those other, you know, I call them retards, but, I mean, you know, really, they're pretty good people. But, you know, they actually hack, they actually did something with their degrees, believe it or not. I mean, people with Down syndrome have done more than you. And that degree has done nothing for you. It has done a lot. It has done a lot for me. It's given me the whole bunch of computer experience and potential that I have. And I will get an office job. And I will move out of this house. And I will run five miles. But you haven't done any of that. I mean, if you're going to say it, then do it. I would not be saying it if I was not going to do it. That (sighs) is a promise. You better do it. You know, before Casey runs back to a real man. Okay, then. So I'm thinking that's going to happen pretty soon here. I mean, 27 years and, and you haven't changed. Well, she, did, she and I did not meet 27 years ago. She and I met a few months ago. And you... And you haven't, and she wasn't alive 27 years ago, so that that doesn't even make any sense. Well, what you said there a moment ago equally did not make that much sense either. It was like you were implying, like, as if she actually knew me my whole 27 years. Uh, This is just insult. This is insulting to my intelligence talking to you. I mean,. You've well, you've shown you've shown me nothing but disrespect. I mean, I'm sure uh, I'm sure you show Casey hardly any hardly any more respect than you show me. I mean, I've been trying to open your eyes here. I have shown you respect for the for the while during the conversation. Yeah, this is the kind of respect you show me. I would hate to see what kind of respect you show Casey. I show Casey a lot of respect. I mean, I mean, you don't. I, you probably don't even respect her as a person. I mean, you, you know her. I do. Res- I do respect her as a person. You know, her sister said you kept trying to touch her when you met her. Because I was nervous at the time. You were nervous. What the hell kind of response is that? You're nervous, so you try to touch a per- You try to touch a girl. What the hell? That's. That's. That's just sick. I mean, that's my daughter. You're trying to touch a girl. You're trying to touch my daughter because you're nervous. I mean, most people try to avoid touching people when they're nervous. God, I can't believe I I just heard that. I should come and kick your ass right now. I only touched her shoulder, and I thought it was a a friend's gesture. Her shoulder? That's, you know, that didn't. You know, I heard otherwise. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, too. Did you try to kiss her? No. Bullshit. I mean, she told her sister about what, what, what you did. I mean, I know. Um, are you telling me that Casey lied? I'm not saying that. I am not saying that. Are you trying to tell me that... Uh, and, and yeah, I heard. I mean, and I heard you did all kinds of other weird shit. Like you tried to sniff her or something. She was sharing her perfume I mean, with that's... me. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't she think so. My, she wanted. She wanted my opinion on which perfume smelled better. You know, she gave it to you. She said she gave it to you in the bottle first. She could have just, you know, opened the bottle and sniffed it. You didn't have to sniff her to do it. I mean, that's, yeah, like, yeah, that's a well, little creepy. She had, she had one of the perfumes she wanted me to give an honest opinion about on her. You did it You did it in front of her and her friend. I mean, have you ever done this before? Is, it, is this something you do when you meet girls? 
I'm sorry. Could you could you uh, repeat that? 